Hi there, in this video we're going to take a look at this book, uh, Beyond the Dictionary in Dutch, a guide to correct word usage for the English speaking student. It's a book of over 300 uh, pages uh, and it is written by a professor who is, or an associate professor, uh, by someone uh, who is an, a non-native speaker of Dutch. And to some people this will be like, oh no, you can't do that uh, if you're not a native. You're not allowed to write a book about a language. Well, uh, actually this book is the very reason why someone who is not a native speaker should write a book. Because what is this book? Well, it's a dictionary and um, it's a list of words in English that have several translations in Dutch. Huh. Just to give you an example here, uh, the education uh, in Dutch well, or in English, well, there's only the education, but in Dutch you can say onderwijs, opleiding, opvoeding, pedagogiek. And the author explains in which cases you would use onderwijs, in which cases you would use opleiding, opvoeding and pedagogiek. And this is um, a reason why this, uh, this uh, person, uh, Bruce Donaldson, has written this book, because sometimes Dutch teachers give a translation but it's not what the English student means. So this book is written typically for English, like native English speaking students who um, want to improve their subtleties of the language. And actually there are many of my videos on this channel that uh, have, uh, what I, when I was looking at this uh, book, who are uh, related to one of these topics that this, this uh, author or this book covers. Uh, so uh, it's a list of words alphabetically and those words that aren't, well, if you look them up in the dictionary, you won't really find the different uses or the different subtleties that an English uh, speaker would need to be able to grasp the different concepts of the uh, the Dutch, uh, the Dutch equivalents. Uh, for example, necessary, you have benodigd, hoeven, nodig, noodzakelijkerwijs, niet per se, uh, etc, etc. Uh, some are between brackets. So which one do you choose? And then, uh, as you can see here, just for the necessary, uh, necessary is here on top. And then the author writes a whole explanation of, well, when do you use benodigd, when do you use hoeven, when, etc, etc, etc. And it's a whole, explanation of almost one page that in a dictionary you won't find because a dictionary is just word after word okay they will have maybe a little bit of explanation but not much uh, of an explanation um, good uh, what about the level of this book well the level is i would say uh, from advanced beginner almost uh, beginning intermediate level and higher uh, when you're a native well when you're at native level there will still be some things you will find useful in uh, this book all right so what did i think were really was really good about uh, this book uh, it will solve many mysteries you will have as an english native as a native English speakers. Uh, so it's really, really helpful for English natives. And I'm stressing it because if, say, your mother tongue is uh, German and you would, you, you would learn Dutch through English, mm, then this book is not for you. Uh, it's really specifically for native English ones. It is really well written. There are many examples uh, given to make sure that you're understanding properly what the differences are between the, uh, well, the, the different meanings. Um, and in the end, you will, you will at some point, as an English native, again, uh, encounter these, these subtleties or you will need to, uh, to adapt your language to it. What did I not like about this book? Uh, well, first of all, it's a little bit old. The first, 
the first edition was in 1990 so that's already a while ago the second edition was in 1995 but that's still uh, a while uh, ago um, also the structure it's like a dictionary it's alphabetically you start with what is the first one after the introduction how do you say about ha well there are many uh, options to say about about 10 hmm, about 10 uh, so it starts with an a and then b c etc etc so it's alphabetically well there is actually not really another way to do this but uh, okay it's not like a course you wouldn't buy this one just to start learning dutch it's just to start to grasp the um the subtleties or to continue grasping better the subtleties of the dutch language uh good what about the price range it's average i would say it's not expensive it's not cheap maybe average and a little bit below average all right you can uh, buy the book through the link below and don't forget there's a playlist there for more books uh, similar to this one see you there